11 July 1944, shortly after a brief truce to collect casualties from both sides, the 3rd Fallschirmjäger launched a late evening surprise attack on the 115th Infantry Regiment of the 29th Infantry Division. This was a lead up to an even bigger attack to come later on. This fight would be yet another hedgerow hell affair that would find the 29ers victorious, but at a high price. So, welcome back. Of course, I'm Tony from Tony's Board Life. Today, we are going to be playing a scenario from Point Blank, V is for Victory. Now, for those of you that have ordered it, from what I read, from what I saw on a video today, earlier today, it looks like about 60 days out. Don't quote me on that, or you can quote me, but I, I'm not the one in charge, so. But anyways, we are going to play this scenario called 29 Let's Go. Now, a couple things. We have uh, the uh, setup, the German player uh, setups within two player sectors, which is up here. And the Americans can set up um, uh, if you uh, uh, any sec US sector, which um, so they have uh, one, two, and three. So these three right, right here. So they have one here, two there. And remember the center area is is kind of like the no man's land. Um, the scenario only uses three areas. Uh, the ruler kind of divides ends where that area is ends at. So that's good. We have seven Fauchemager squads. Um, and we have five infantry squads with a 50 cal machine gun. We also have a Lieutenant Cray and Sergeant Miller. And then we have Sergeant Fisher and Sergeant Anderson. Uh, for the Germans. Okay, this is a four-turn scenario, and German player is the first input. Impulse. Victory condition. So what do we need to actually um, win? Well, you get one player, one victory point for each eliminated infantry squad, and two victory points for each infantry leader elimination. Two victory points for the elimination of a weapons team, which there's only one weapons team, uh, one victory point for control of the most sectors in row O, which is this sector right in here. Uh, and one victory point of a, uh, for control of a sector within the enemy player's section. That means if the Americans control any of these sectors, they get a point per sector. Uh, if the Germans control any of these, uh, their nine sectors, the American sectors, they could get a point. So you could really get nine points for the Germans but only six points for that. Obviously, that probably won't be happening. So we have some, spe some special scenario rules that we need to go through. At the start of each scenario, each unit that sets up in a sector where no terrain card exists, draw two terrain cards and select one each. Select two terrain and select one and then discard the other. So I want to show you this. Um, so this is how the setup. We have Bokash here that's set and Bokash here that's set. And so I have set that. So this is the Bokash here and Bokash here. So I'm going to have to tell you <laughs> that I did this earlier, recorded it, but I forgot to turn the mic on. So I was going to show everybody how this worked out. Um, so let's go over the certain, um, the certain uh, terrain that we drew. So Bokash here and here was automatically assigned. The Germans drew Bokash, put it there, and another Bokash put it here. We have a clear terrain up here. Now this is blocking, so these guys are safe. And we put a stone wall up here. The Americans have a stream, unfortunately. A stone wall here. Um, the Bokaj was already there and clear, so this one is blo is safe, is um, not blo is blocked from the enemies as well. So now, this is a special scenario because this action happens at night. Any terrain may provide concealment and line of sight to an enemy is reduced to two sectors or one adjacent area. So two sectors, one, two. 
and then one adjacent area. So these guys, even though it would be one and one, that's two adjacent areas, that's two areas, so he couldn't see anybody here, but this 50 cal, one, one could see here. So that's kind of uh, that one. Units may have only line of sight to adjacent sectors. Um, so actually, the way I think it, the way it looks like, you can have line of sight to here, uh, but you could actually technically only see here or here or around. So this is going to be a lot of real close firing on them with that. Um, now, what's kind of interesting is U.S. player may utilize a star shell once per turn by spending one liter at the beginning of an impulse. Um, so if you spend a liter, that's uh, like, let's see, we got Lieutenant Gray here. So that's turning it here. And that's spending him for that impulse. And then what that does is that actually um, suspends the line of sight. So you have normal line of sight. So you can see everything uh, like you normally would be able to. Uh, for that impulse and for the other players impulse so the germans so the americans would have it first but the germans would also have it so which makes sense you know if you're firing a star starburst shell it's going to help everybody um and just uh scenario four uh reinforcement cards are served as a fire action so now conceal can be it says any terrain any terrain may provide concealment. You have to put concealment in. Concealment does not mean you can't see them. It is a modifier. So it is a uh, plus two or minus two. Yeah, it's a minus two or, yeah, I have to look at that. I think it's a plus two. Yeah, it's a plus two. Because um, like the bocage, if they were concealed, would be a plus five. Um, and then you roll a die roll. So when we get into the fightings, if you've ever played Lock and Low Tactical, uh, the combat is very, very similar in that aspect. So uh, we also have some terrain cards adjustments. So there is a standard deck that has included stone buildings, wood buildings, and hills. We have actually taken those out, and we've added the bocage. Now the funny thing is, is that we have four bocages out, out of the five here. So that's pretty interesting. So we have these two bocage were here, and then the Germans got two bocage as well. So we are all set up, and we are ready to go to the start of turn number one. Um, and again, smaller scenario setup, uh, which is what I was kind of looking for for this. Um, really looking forward to going through this. It's going to be a fun, a fun scenario, I think, um, with this, and then we're going to go through it. Uh, so just real quick for a turn. Um, this, uh, right here is the action card deck. I haven't sleeved them yet, but I will be sleeving them. Um, you know, once you go through one of these, it's a turn. So whether we get through video, the whole thing or not, uh, we'll see. It will be a multi-part, uh, uh, event on this. Um, but since today's, um, July 11th, I'm releasing this on July 11th. I'm actually filming it on the 10th, but I'll be releasing it on the 11th in honor of when the scenario actually happens. So with that, let's move on to turn number one. Okay, so now that uh, we are all set up uh, with all the terrain and things like that, let's go ahead and get started. So it's a five hand card, five cards a hand. So let's, we're going to do the Germans. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, and five. So uh, as you can see, we have several different things. So what do these, what do these items mean? So uh, the arrow means to move, which we'll have to do for sure. This one has two. You can rally and you can ready item units. And then this um, is, uh, ooh, what is, I can't remember what that is. Hold on. It's what's called a unit action. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and move. So what we're going to do is we're going to play this card first here. So this is going to be a move. 
So we're going to play that. And I think what we're going to do is going to take this Fallschirmjäger squad and move into this one right here because it is a um, part of the victory conditions is to do that. Well, actually, well, actually, there's a few things we need to do first because we have to do the upkeep fees first, which pretty much on first turn, there's nothing really to do because it's resolve melee and overrun attacks, which we do not have. Resolve terrain placement, resolve movement, terrain to empty, uh, refuse terrain, removal. So none of that. Blazing terrain morale checks. Nope. Ready all spent leaders. Again, nothing there. We don't have any AVs. We don't have any support weapons. And we don't need to combine half squads. So we kind of skip with that. Now, here we go. So we did, we're, we're playing this card here. So we played the move card. And what you do is you take your well, move marker and you point your unit into which way it's going to go. So we're going to go ahead and take and we're going to move that one there. So once we've done that, so we played an action card, we'll spend an action from the, um, so you can also spend an action, discard a card from your hand to execute an action from the printed action icons listed um, unit actions list, um, which actually it does let you do multiple. And I just got to find my unit action list here. That's the game icon. Leader actions. They're here though, so it's kind of cool. They've got they've got them. I just gotta get really good at where they're all at. <laughs> As usual. Okay. Okay, well, we'll just we'll be fine. Okay, and then so we can discard to reduce one fatigue level. We don't have any fatigue yet. We can discard our entire hand. We can do that once per turn, which we are not going to because we already played a card. And we can discard one card from your hand. And then we draw up um, to your hand size. So in this case, we have four. Hand size is going to be five. So we need to draw up again. Nope. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try not to look at those um, because then I will remember them. So I'm going to put those up there. Now, time for the um, Americans. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, and five. So in this case, we don't have, let's take a look. What we've got, we have unit actions. And I have to look at this again. So we have unit actions. We have a rally icon. And then we have... Um, this right here, which is a melee or an overrun, which we don't we don't have any of those. We don't have use for any of these cards right now. So what's fun about this is so this is a unit icon. So what you do is you take a look. So we're going to grab the infantry squad here. We're going to take a look and you can activate you discard this card here with the unit. And you can do anything that's on this squad right here. So it's kind of cool. So what we can do, and what I think we're going to do is, one, we're going to make an attack here. Um, uh, just to see if we can maybe do some damage to that Falschermager squad there. Uh, the distance, because I would have to be adjacent to see them. But what we're going to do is we're going to spend an action... Where we're going to use our starburst. And then what we're going to do is we are going to play this action card here, this unit action card. We're going to play it there. We are going to activate uh, this unit right here, this uh, uh, cal, uh, the 50 cal. So he can see them. <laughs> He does have woods, though, so that will help them when it comes to the defense. So what we're going to do is we do have a modifier here uh, for the uh, for Sergeant Miller. So we take our uh, our gunfire factor, 
or power firepower, which is a four. He has a range of five. We can see because we got that starburst. Remember, we have that starburst, and so he is going to go ahead and he'll be able to fatigue. He'll be able to fire on this Foster Jaeger squad. So what we need to do is we'll uh, four, and then we get a modifier of one. So, and then we pull a card. Now that's not a good card to pull because that makes this a six. <laughs> so you have the modifier plus the that gunfire, and now we've got uh, a six. <laughs> that is not good. So that's a six, So we're gonna put that there. What's gonna happen now is we look at the defensive modifier. So he has a two to start off with. He needs to score higher than a six. Um, so, or if to cancel it out, he would have to score a six, a six or higher adding the two. So he'd have to get a four or higher to cancel it out. So what do we do? We got a six. So in that case, that's a missed shot on that. So that was not a good effective shot. And with that, that does uh, give uh, this um, unit a one fatigue. So he's got one fatigue on him now. Okay, um, let's see. So this leader, because he just got the fatigue, he can't use that. So that's not uh, a big deal on that one. Okay, unit action. Oh, he could use a unit action. Hmm. None of these can recon. They can just move. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use Sergeant Miller for... So I'm going to use his leadership ability here, this little um, icon right here uh, for unit action. So he gets put down that way. I could, I should have looked at the other ones. I'll have to make sure I um, do that next time. And so we're going to take this infantry squad here and we are going to move him into a one. Okay. So everybody's good there. And that'll be it for that turn. So we have to draw up to our hand. Okay. And then I'll just put those down here. And then that's that impulse. Now, <laughs> we'll have to see what happens here. So now we actually have to do stuff uh, in the upkeep phase. So resolve, melee, and overrun attacks. Nope. Resolve terrain placement. Resolve movement and terrain into empty. So he is going to, this false Jaeger is going to move into here which will give him a fatigue. And when we do that, we actually have to draw for the terrain that goes in there. So that's clear terrain. <laughs> that's, that's not good for, for that Foster Maker at that point. Uh, we do have a fire card here. And we have to remember that um, the Starburst kind of opened things up. So what we're going to do is we're going to play the fire fire action card and we're going to play it for this Falschenjäger. Oh, wait a second. He can't, but this guy can. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to Falschenjäger here. So we're going to play it. So we're going to take and fire this MG, this squad right here. So it will be, so one, and then this is one. So this is one, two three, four. So he's at five. So that's not a problem. The squad cannot fire because it's only good for one, two. Um, and the only reason why we can do this is because the Americans uh, did their star shell the last time. So he's going to fire. He's got a three. And let's see, what does he roll? So he's got a three. He rolls a five. So that'll be eight. Now, <laughs> this is not good because this terrain has a minus one on it. So we will, so three. 
So we have a five. And so five. Okay, so, oh, this is a three. So we have a difference of five. Okay. So with a difference of five, now what we have to do is we have to roll, go for the morale for each of these units in the area. Am I right? Oh, no, 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 no. He's going after, um, yeah, he's going after the, the BAR, the squad with the BAR. And so that's a six. So we have a five difference. So if he gets one, we're okay on this roll. If he gets, well, let's see what he's got. <laughs> he gets a two plus five is a seven. That'll make this infantry squad shaken. Uh, oh, here's so this infantry squad with the BAR is shaken. So there we go. So he is fired. So that would be a fatigue for him. Uh, with that, he's shaken. Now, what can we do here? So our leaders have a. Um, our leaders for the Germans have a rally flag. Or a ready flag, which we don't have. The sergeant has a fire flag, but nobody is in range. This move marker can get redone. So nobody's in range there. So they really can't do anything right now. Because um, they just got a fatigue. So uh, that'll be it for that impulse. So he's going to draw up again and now it's time for the americans so we ready all of the leaders we take a look of our hand and see what we've got so what we're going to do is i think we are going to move Hmm, so this is what we have. So we have two unit actions. And the one fatigue is not too bad. If we get to two, that's an issue. Um, and this one is a rally attempt to remove a shaken marker. I kind of want to do that for that BAR, but um, the starburst isn't in and I can't use it again for this turn. So um, they're not going to go anywhere. So let's go ahead and... I think what we're going to do is we're going to do a move. So this has two things on it. So we can do a flanking and a move, and they can be on different ones. So that's the card we're going to play. Oh, that will be the card we're going to play, but we have to go through this first. So uh, we need to do movement, which goes there. And then he gets a fatigue uh, marker. And fatigue one, and we have to draw four. Oh, nice. He gets a stone wall. So that's really nice. Okay, good. So now we're going to look at movement here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to assign to move. Ah, this unit right here. So he's going to try to move into there. Of course, that goes next thing. And then we are going to flank. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the MG. We're going to try to flank uh, the Fossilmager. So what we need to do is what's what we need to do is the attempt. So we have to do a morale check and compare the lowest morale. And in this case, the morale on this MG is six. The modifier would be seven with the leader. And we have to do a two D six uh, to see if it. Um, if it uh, works. So to do 2d6, you're going to pull two cards. So we've got 1, 4, and 10. So that means it 
equal to or less than the printed value of the unit if they pass a morale check. So they actually failed their morale check. So that didn't help. <laughs> so anyways, you know, you're going you're gonna to win some and lose some. It does not cause a fatigue on that one, so we're good to go there. Um, let's see here. Okay. I'm going to have to check that out. I may have made a mistake on this one. Hold on. Yeah, I believe I'm correct on that. Okay, it didn't say. So the leader can affect any of his units um, with that, but his modifier only affects the one that's in there. Okay. Um, so we did this card, which, so we moved, which is we're going to try to move this different squad in here. And then we tried to flank that false Meager squad, so we can't do anything on that. Now, what's interesting is that this leader here he tried to flank him so i don't think we can do anything on that activation um, this guy i believe he can try to rally to remove a shaken marker so we're going to go ahead lieutenant cray is going to try to get the shaken marker off this guy here okay so lieutenant cray is going to try to get the shaken marker off okay i think i think i'm i'm good um, so unit action, we're good to go there. So that'll be that. So, um, we are not at the end of the turn. We'll grab card here. And now we're on to the, uh, German turn. Resolve melee and overrun attacks. Nope. Uh, so we're good to go there. So let's go ahead and we've got our cards here. So we've got move. Um, so I think that's what we're going to do. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and we're going to try to move um, the false Jaeger in here. So that's going to be done. Um, leader, no rallies and can't fire. So leaders are not effective at this point right now. So that actually ends the German turn. So that works out there. So now we're on to the American turn. This infantry squad is going to move into here. It is going to get one fatigue. Going to have a one fatigue on him. And we're going to go ahead and draw. He's going to be in clear terrain uh, with that. So that'll be interesting. We need to break this one. So we can recon if we wanted to. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and recon. We're going to play the recon card here. And we're going to recon that hex right there. So check that real quick. Recon. Attempt to place a spotter. And I, mean, I think it can do a couple different things. Let me check on that for sure. Three cons of the eight ten. Yeah, so there's a couple things you can do with the recon. You can look for terrain. Um, you can try to spot an enemy. I can't see because it has to be adjacent. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna um, take two, take two stone wall and a clear. Yeah, stone wall is definitely. <laughs> Gonna go into our stock there. Now I can place this at the beginning of my next uh, phase, my next uh, impulse. So, so he gets he gets taken care of there. Now, uh, Sergeant Miller is going to use uh, his leadership, and we are going to um, well, we're going to try to fire again at the Falschmeier squad. He is nice thing is he's in clear. So we don't have to worry about it so much. So he's got a four plus what? Plus a five. So that's nine. Oh, that's nice. A nine against. Uh, oh, that's the wrong file. A nine against a four. So that's a five. So he has a five difference. A difference of five so we could see either this guy shaken or yep 
shaken or even possibly so five plus two is a seven so he is going to be shaken as well so he's now shaken and that was an effective so we put two hits on and we're good he's on a two um on that since he did take that uh lieutenant cray is going to what is it Oh, ready? Okay. Yeah, so he is going to ready a unit and is going to take this guy, this off of this guy. Uh, that fatigue off of that one. Okay. Um, so at that point, we are going to uh, pull up to our hand limit and then go to the Germans. Okay, the Germans. So this Flaschenmaker squad is going to move up here. And he is going to get a one fatigue. And what does he have? He has clear terrain, which is not good for him. And we have rally and ready. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and play one of the rally and readies here. We are going to try to rally um, uh, this unit right here. Here, um, ready. We're gonna go ahead and take the fatigue off of that unit right there, um, and then ready or rallying. Um, I just did it. And now I have to look it up again. <laughs> uh, oh, the other thing is, is use this uh, unit is spent, so he is going to be spent right now. So, and so is Sergeant Miller. So there's going to be spent. Okay. Um, two D six for morale. Okay. So that shaken unit is a morale five so 2d6 oh he gets it so he gets it so he is no longer shaken so he's like yay we're not shaken and we already took care of the rally part um so he's good to go there um and i think that's all we're gonna do um yeah that's all we're gonna do for the germans right now so load back up and now let's see here we're going to uh train placement so we're going to go ahead and put that stone wall right there uh because to that's the recon so that's pretty cool um we need to use this one and this one and then what we're going to do what do we got? We got another recon card. Those can be very, very effective. Um, but what I think we're going to do is we are going to, first thing we're going to do, we're going to use Sergeant Miller to ready this guy, which is pretty cool. Um, this guy, oh, Lieutenant Cray is going to try to rally this unit right here. Um, so we need two D6 to check. And it's a 10, so he fails. And now we get to play a card. So what we're going to do is we are going to... Um, I think we're going to play a unit action. Because I kind of like that. So we're going to play a unit action on this case. And we're going to move this BAR into here. We're going to do a move action into there. Because that stone wall is kind of nice. So we're going to go ahead and discard that. And at that point, we are all good. So that's part there. So let's go ahead. Uh, that's 25 minutes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and post this up, plus the intro that I did earlier with this. 
So we're looking at, you know, close to 30 minutes. I want to get up because I want to make sure I'm doing things right as well. So we can have people look at it. Um, and with that, I hope you're enjoying it. I plan on playing more. So don't expect this to go away. If I have to fix something or change it as we go forward, I'm okay. We haven't really lost anything on this one. So with that, I'll talk to everybody later. Have a great day.